voice keeps on calling me down the road. That's where I'll always be. Every stop I make, I make a new friend. Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again. Maybe tomorrow I wanna settle down. Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on. So if you wanna join me. Both of you now. Look, Kent, hon, keep your voice down. Mrs. Hewis is just sitting there with her mouth open. I don't know what to do with her. All right, maybe you better go back inside, OK? Keep her company. M make oh. her a cup of tea or something, please, huh? We are too close to let this be blown by a skinny, speechless teenager. Kent, OK, but hurry it up. My uh, polite conversation is limited, and I'm not too sure the Grieving Widow Act's going to hold up for too much longer. And remember, quiet. Yeah, OK, OK, just go in, will you? Rose! Kent. Rose! Kent, it's not Rose's fault. She's been sheltered. She can't speak. You just don't understand her. Hey, I don't have to understand her. This is a business arrangement. You remember that? But Rose can't handle that. You know very well this is the first time I've ever involved her in this. Wait a minute. You showed her the letters, right? Yes. Okay. But you know as well as I do they're phony. A couple of doctors did me a favor. The courts don't know that. What they're going to see are three professional opinions stating that your daughter would be better off in an institution. But that's not true. That's the law. That's all it requires. She's going to be out here like a shot. Hey, go find your daughter. Put the little costume on her. And we'll go back in and talk to Mrs. Yor, OK? I'm so sorry. Where did he come from? Oh, I don't think so, Rose. The, the Nortons. He'd help you get through, wouldn't he? His mind seems made up. Let's try. It's about time. What's this? Give it him. The dog 
Tom stays. Now look, could you look? He will help her get through this, and if he helps her, he helps us. Okay, but well, it stays right there till we're finished, and you get inside there. I'm gonna be watching you. Get ready. Wonderful. So wonderful. Oh, I'm so glad, Mrs. Ewers. Won't you come again? Would tomorrow afternoon be too soon? Well, I, I don't Please? know. Please? My dear friends, Heather and Caroline, have both lost loved ones. Perhaps we can all find peace. Please, so many need your help. Yes. I know. Please, let me show you to your car.
it later. Jill, honey, let's go downtown and find out about those two old biddies who are coming tomorrow. And they're dear departed. You got their last names? Not to worry, hon. Where's the dog? He's up there? And I told you I didn't want that dog to wander around. Now, he could have ruined everything for us. Get rid of that dog. Hey, look, kid, I'm not going to stand here and argue with you, OK? You get rid of that dog. Either the dog goes or she goes. Come on, Jill. late. The dog won't be coming back, honey. He's gone to his real home. Somebody else probably loves him just as much as you do. It's for the best. Enough already with the dog. Will you please get inside and stop moping about the dog? Hey, tomorrow's an important day, hon. In a few weeks' time, your dad will be able to buy all the dogs you want. Yeah, a few weeks are when I'm finished. Get inside. Joe, honey, do me a favor, will you? Go sit on the back porch. I'm going to stay here. Mm -hmm. I don't want the kid moping around looking for that dog. OK, but this place gives me the willies at night. Well, nothing's going to happen. Come on, go, huh? Kids, dogs. It's my cigarettes. What a day. Let's go to bed. It looks like they're going to stay put. Okay. okay.
She and the other two will be here in half an hour. Let's get ready, then. <laughs> Welcome to the sands. Now, would you all join your hands and concentrate very hard? Our spirits are playful today. Now, please, concentrate. Spiriti, spiriti, venite ad nos. We have been visited. Honey, I am so proud of you. I should have thought of something like that weeks ago. It was dangerous, honey, using smoke to alert someone's smoke signals. Well, if you didn't do anything, who did? The dog. 
Dear one, I believe that as much as I believe in spirits. This is yours. Mr. Kirsten, I'd like to apologize for being so foolish. I Oh, there's don't... no need, dear lady. I feel badly for having taken advantage of you. You fooled me because I wanted to be fooled. I realize now I should have let go of Amy a long time ago and gotten on with the business of the living. She's saying thank you. I wish to thank you, too, for not pressing charges against me. You were being used, too. Until tomorrow, the whole world is my home. 